might you have entertained the idea of uh, fighting Conor McGregor? Um, if, you, if you were to take that on, a, a lot of people are saying that's a good tuna fight for him, which I don't feel any. I don't feel you're a great tuna fight for anybody. You know what I mean? Look, like I don't feel anybody could tune up with he, you. Uh, he got a license now to fight here in California for boxing. Yeah. I know Floyd don't fight in California. Yeah. But I'm in Cali. Yeah. You know he wants to try boxing. Sure, let's, I can do that. Business-wise, uh, if he were to fight you first and you beat him, which I think the consensus is you would beat him, uh, does that ruin a fight for him and Floyd Mayweather? I, I most likely would. Yeah. Uh, I probably wouldn't be big, uh, you know, anymore. But um, you know, if, if he's serious about boxing and fighting at the level, at championship level, then I definitely would be interested in doing that. Why not? Uh, I think if he comes down, he was fighting at 45 through 55, somewhere in there. We can find a, a <laughs> weight that feels comfortable for him, 45, 46. I have no problem with that. Uh, he he does no boxing for his MMA, yeah. but it's not at the level that you know world champion you know boxers have. Yeah. So I I, I would definitely. How do you prepare? For take it seriously. I'm not gonna take anything lightly. Uh, but I would probably uh, get a lot of sparring partners with amateurs who are not quite maybe a little bit more wild level, fighters. But a little wild because you know you, they sometimes throw punches from a little different angles. So I get some sparring like that to be aware and just you know be cautious for for crazy punches like that. He might try to Superman punch me there in the ring. So what do you? <laughs>